must calibrate your battlesuit's targeting matrix. First, look over at the hollow target on your left. Turn to face the hollow target on the right, then fire. Good. Now shoot the hollow target above you. All right, Ratchet. Your movement circuit should be in working order now. Try getting to the top of that ledge. I am transmitting a digital minimap representation of the area. Can you see it? The minimap will show you the positions of nearby enemies. I am reading three more hollow targets in your vicinity. Good, Ratchet. There should be a teleporter nearby that will take you to the next stage of the qualification course. you'll be dead by tomorrow. But those of you who play the game with skill and strategy will earn a chance to win your freedom. So, good luck, hero. We'll be watching you. <laughs> I have figured out a way to get information to you without Vox knowing. Pay attention to secret messages at the bottom of your screen. At the top of your screen is the experience bar. As you destroy enemies, you gain experience. When the bar is full, you will gain a level, and your nanotech will increase. Hold R2 or triangle. Congratulations, Ratchet. You made it through the qualification course. Check your map. There should be a teleporter nearby. Use the teleporter to meet me back at our Dread Zone containment area. This is crazy. I've always wondered what it'd be like to be a professional gladiator. I mean, these guys have the life, the fame, the money, the babes. Try not to forget that we are being held prisoner by a criminal organization. This is no time for fantasizing. Welcome, hero, to your new living quarters. Your luxury containment suite is equipped with everything you will need as a contestant on Dread Zone. Please, make yourself comfortable. You'll most likely be spending the rest of your life here. Ratchet, you should go find Al. I have marked his location on your map. I think he has something to show you. Hey, Al. <laughs> hey, Ratchet. <laughs> I have something to show you. Meet your new battle bots. Call me Merc. This here's Green. Uh, hi, sir. I got them off a former contestant who, um, won't be needing them anymore. Don't worry, boss. You won't end up like that last guy. I hope not. I still have nightmares about it. Oh, suck it up, Green. Once you win a few battles, we can afford to upgrade them. Just come and see me whenever you want to juice them up. Before I came here, I saw a little action. 
Hey, nice digs. Um, digs? I mean, what's all the hardware for? Ah, they call this the mission control room. Each contestant is assigned a mission engineer to monitor their progress. Right. So, what's-his-face figured he'd save a few bolts and make you do it. Ahem. All right, fresh meat. Enough chit-chat. You're next up in the Battle Dome, after Mobius Man. And from the way he's fighting, it won't be much longer. Now move it! Ratchet, I will assist you any way I can. Thanks, Clank. These guys obviously don't know who they're messing with. Attention, hero. Report to the Battle Dome transport shuttle immediately. Greetings, hero or heroine. We thank you for choosing Pox Airways for your traveling needs. We do hope you have a pleasant flight. Sit back, relax, and enjoy our in-flight entertainment, courtesy of the Pox Network. The Red Zone fans, this is it. Let's introduce our first contestant. He's a Lombax. He spent time in prison. He hates candy and children. Let's hear it for Ratchet and Team Darkstar. Uh-oh. I guess I didn't calibrate that bot correctly. Go ahead and press the down directional button to initiate the auto repair sequence. You can do this anytime a bot becomes too damaged to continue. You can press the down directional button at any time to make your bots regroup to your position. devices or lower force fields. But be careful, Ratchet. The bolt cranks may trigger incoming waves of enemies. My scanners show an extremely deadly 70 millimeter stalker turret ahead of you. You need to get behind cover immediately. The shields on that turret are impenetrable. You will have to use an EMP to take them down. Command your bot to toss out an EMP by pressing the left directional button. Excellent work, Ratchet. Now that you have survived the qualification course, you will be allowed to join us back at our containment area.
This is the interplanetary transport. It will take you to Dread Zone battle courses on other planets. It travels on a planned course. Any tampering with the nav computer causes the ship to explode. a beautiful spring day on Catacrom 4, Juanita, as we kick off a brand new season of Dread Zone. That's right, Dallas, and we're lucky enough to have a bird's eye view of the action. Even from up here, this season's Dread Zone battle courses look bigger and deadlier than ever. It's a wonder contestants keep volunteering, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <sighs> oh, yeah. The Pox construction team really outdid themselves in turning this once sacred robotic burial ground into a deadly Dread Zone battle course. And look, here comes today's first contestant. Oh, my. They're really scraping the bottom of the barrel to find these guys, aren't they? I hope you folks at home aren't too squeamish, because the next one looks like a bleeder. Ratchet's first objective is a gimme, Juanita. All he has to do is make his way to the other side of this mountain pass. suits Juanita. Defeating enemies automatically upgrades your Dread Zone weaponry and improves your maximum nanotech level. Team Dark Star continues toward the Catacrom Burial Dome, they'll need to cross what I like to call the chasm of endless falling and eventual dying. In the unlikely event that they survive, they'll take control of the big, bad, and burly walking armored tank called the Landstalker. Good luck, kids. Ratchet, you will have to capture all three nodes to extend the bridge. Walking on top of a giant robot burial ground! Red zone show requirements. Enemies appear red on the radar. Allies appear green. Challenge objectives appear blue. Hey, Ratchet, I've upgraded your bots to turn bolt cranks. Get close to a crank and press the right directional button.
has designed his weapons to gain experience as you use them, which allows them to be upgraded. Upgraded weapons not only do more damage, but can be modified. <laughs> 